This is Jefferson Close-Up. I'm Carol Celine. My guest today is otolaryngologist Dr. David Cognetti. You grew up in Scranton. <laughs> I love this. You were one of nine children, including a twin sister. I certainly hope your house had more than one bathroom. Okay. So what's your favorite childhood memory? Childhood was very fun in our house. You can imagine with so many children and so many friends, our house became the neighborhood hangout. And there was always activity and always people around. So I have many very fun memories as a child. Probably the best ones, though, were with the family itself. When we'd go on vacations, putting all the kids in the car and going down Ocean City every year. Oh, a lot God. of fun. It was like a clown car with all of you in the car, I'm sure. <laughs> it, it, it sure was. It's uh, amazing how many kids you can fit in the back of a station wagon. <laughs> so what kind of work did you do growing up? Uh, my family, my grandfather, had a fruit and produce warehouse. So starting from a young child, uh, certainly early teenage years, we'd all do time working down mm. at the fruit and produce warehouse. What would you say are the traits about yourself that you like? Um, maybe cliche, but I consider myself a people person. I really like mm -hmm. uh, interacting with other people and relationships in that regard. Uh, and perhaps that might be what draw me to the part of medicine I'm doing is I get to form long-term relationships with my patients. Um, I'm a very curious person. I like to figure out how things work and how the world around me works and then I sometimes get caught trying to make things better. Well, those are, those are, those are wonderful qualities. Now tell me a little about your family. I've been married for eight years to a very wonderful and supportive wife and I have three beautiful young girls. Daddy's girls. What do you like to do with your girls? I sometimes joke that I live in a prince's castle, but uh, <laughs> any time we get together is great. Each Wednesday night, my wife works late, so it's daddy's job to pick up the children and get them home in bed. We call it daddy's night. We usually Aww. stop for dinner on our way home, which is fun. Aww. And then each weekend, you know, we, we play, we do what we can. We usually have a, a dance party where we put on music and <laughs> have a good time. Oh, I love it. I'm going to come. Do you have a treasured possession? I would say there's one thing that has a lot of meaning for me. Uh, my grandfather passed away when I was 14 years old, and he died at work, uh, mm -hmm. essentially at his desk uh, of a stroke, so mm -hmm. he's still fully functional. And at his desk, they found a poem called mm -hmm. Promise Yourself, and it's a very inspirational poem that I have now hanging in my office, both at work and at home, uh, and refer to every once in a while. Is sort of promises to yourself and advice on how to treat other people and how to treat yourself as well. So always look for the best in other people. Always uh, encourage other people. Be as enthusiastic about the success of others as you are about your own. Mm -hmm. And then to support yourself, uh, move on from mistakes of the past, and always look to make yourself better for the future. Oh, my. I'd like a copy of that. That's lovely. Thanks for coming in. Thank you.